Brewers, Dodgers, 10.08 p.m. East. The Dodgers are minus 220, totals eight runs. Milwaukee's plus a buck 90 for an upset win. And if you like them on the run line, they're minus 110, catching the one and a half. Brent Suter for the Brewers, Walker Bueller for Los Angeles. LA's won their last six straight ball games where Bueller made the start. He's got a 3.44 ERA and a .95 whip. The Dodgers are in the top three and fewest runs allowed per contest, top three and few, uh, fewest hits allowed per game. They're giving up just 3.2 runs per contest at home and just 3.8 hits per game in that same category. LA also went 21 and nine at Dodger Stadium this year, and they finished the 2020 regular season with the best record in baseball at 43 and 17. Corey Seager led the club in hits, batting average in RBI. Seager hit 307 during the regular season and knocked in 41. Mookie Betts and AJ Pollock each smashed 16 home runs, and Chris Taylor had an on-base percentage of 366. The Dodgers are in the top three in scoring, top 10 in hits. They also won six out of their last seven at Dodger Stadium. They're taking on a sub-500 Brewer team who barely snuck into the wild card after some help from some other sputtering ball clubs. The Brewers have cashed in on the run line in just 13 out of 30 road games this year, and they rank in the top three in most strikeouts per game. They're averaging 9.7 strikeouts per contest, nearly double digits they're averaging for the entire season. Now, the Brewers are also averaging less than 7.8 hits per contest when traveling. Milwaukee's lost four out of their last five head-to-head meetings with L.A. Now, total-wise, Brent Suter's last three starts all stayed under the posted number. The Brewers also saw their last five straight road games stay under the line as well. Meanwhile, the Dodgers on the other side went 5-0 to the uh, to the under in their last five meetings with the NL Central. They also went 60% to the under at Dodger Stadium uh, for the entire year. So with all that said and done, give me the Dodgers minus one and a half in the under eight runs in that game. And with that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. If you guys decide to get a package here today, just keep in mind, we'll bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. Most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Wednesday to you. Happy hump day to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.